Well, you're probably wondering, why did I just make my bed to throw everything on top of it and make a mess of it? Well, honey, it's spring cleaning season. <laughs> I sound like one of those commercials, like when you're walking by the mall or like you're going to Walmart. That's what I sound like. You know what? That's okay. Today, I'm going through all my clothing that do not fit me or just are not cute anymore. Also, I am folding them and organizing them by color to have some form of feng shui in our lives. I don't even think that that's what they're called, but whatever, you know what I mean. So as I said, this season, it calls for getting rid of the old energies and bringing in the new. So here I am just organizing, you see a belt. Honey, I haven't used a belt in years. I don't know, I think it's just very much, ooh, those pants. You keeping those? No, you gotta take them out, honey. Throw that shit out. They're too big, baggy. I know now because I looked through that clothing and I realized that it's too baggy. And that's the thing now, people are just wearing more baggy clothes. Here I'm teaching you how to fold, especially, um, t-shirts well i'm just looking like y'all what is going on here oh i can fold yes you can fold them up you can fold them down or throw them in the bed wow but anyways white pants why why who uses those anymore just throw it out no that's not necessary but anyways here is the mess that i made <laughs> poor little uh towel thing that i made uh, swing swim no a swung a swung the swung that i made the towel swing you know when you go to the hotels i try to be cute like that but it didn't work now, this is another thing that I've been trying to do for the longest time. I mean, I'm a very well-organized person, I would like to assume. <laughs> but then when I saw my drawers and I'm like, mm -mm, they gotta change. Something has to change here. It's just too um, messy, you know what I mean? So yes, now I have folded all of them, you see. I'm giving, <laughs> my, I don't know what her name is, Marie Kondo, thank you. And I'm organizing them by color, you see. I'm a very organized person, I would like to assume, again. But I just wanted to make everything with the jeans, uh, black on black or, or the uh, green or gray so it just keeps am i dancing here what was that <laughs> anyways let's clean that also remember to clean your drawers that shit getting uh, dusty make sure to clean it what are those medications oh yes those are my vitamins and things like that i keep them there because honey i don't i don't want to keep them out so yes clean your things and then organize them by color you see you're gonna put your black exactly put the black first because the ones i use the most to be honest but since there were joggers and stuff, I don't really use them. So I'm going to put them to the, to the back now. Then the green or the gray, then the green. And then now we're going to put the jean on top. Now because the jean season, I think those are jean shorts. I'm not sure. Exactly. So make sure that everything is congruent with the color. So now you know when you come to the, to the drawers what you can get. You know what I mean? And you can do this not just with your pants. You can do it with your uh, shirts. You can do them with your socks, underwear, whatever you want to do it with. Oh, look at me continuing to fold it into thinners. Honey, you can only do three because you have so much fabric. But anyways, now we move into my more used daily use uh, clothing. Don't know why I have polos there. But anyways, yeah, I'm just putting here everything the same organization style. Then I'm throwing things out because they definitely did not fit or did not look cute. And I'm over it, okay? You know, you got to throw shit out. Throw it out. You don't need anything. Donate, donate, and donate. Remember, we need people donating because there's a lot of people that are uh, financially not there all the way, so we need to help them as well. And if you can, that's it. Let me tell you, my fabric, that pants can cover three little children. You know what I'm saying? That's enough fabric to put three children through schooling, through graduation, all that. So please do, please, please, please donate. Then I'm here going to my desk. Oh, I hate this. I don't understand. I clean it every other day and it gets messy over and over and over. As you can see, it's not as unorganized as other people have it. However, I'm a person who likes very clean, organized space. And honestly, I try to make it as most as I can to a very clean environment because it makes me feel safer. It makes me feel nicer. What am I showing you here? Oh, that's a pen that uh, has like a needle kind of thing and represents a needle. So I have that one. Yeah, I don't know. Amazon, you know, you'll find little things here and there. But yeah, so as you can see, I like to clean everything. And I do this quite often, but the dust get honey, it just gets everywhere. My God. Anyways, now we move into the mother of all mothers, the drawers of the desk. Oh my God. Let me tell you, I have a lot of shit in here. Why do I have a, a measuring tape? And that's not all. Look at this. Why do I have 
all the tape and things that are necessary. I threw a lot of things out. We have to throw things out, honey. It just let it out. Let it go. It doesn't serve a purpose if it's just in just drawers collecting dust. That's really what it is. That file room, don't even talk about it. Yes, my tarot, throw all those things away. But anyways, this is finally, everything is clean. Everything is organized. Spring cleaning season is upon us and you have to get the old things out and the new things in. Make sure to make your room clean. But most importantly, make yourself feel clean. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe Subscribe. That's what I'm saying here. Like, comment, do all the things that you know you have to do, but yet don't do. And make the spring cleaning season your B-I-C-T-H.